How you doing, folks? It's Ron from Ron's Beer Reviews and Tools. I've got a beauty showcase today. As you can see, hey, you saw it in front of you earlier. And, uh, probes. First cut. Uh, IPA, a hoppy IPA from them. Down there in Hershey, Pennsylvania. That's the cap. Got the information on the side there, the pertinent information that we need, and that tells us it's 6.2% ABV with 45 international bid units. The hops in this, uh, Comet and Simcoe, it's going to be uh, a mango tasting. I think they have some mango in this, haven't really said. further ado, let's uh, see what this looks like, and tastes like, yeah, we're doing it out here, a little sunny, yeah, uh, getting that, uh, it's, uh, hopefully this will get posted, it's, it's sunny here today in uh, Massachusetts, and uh, we seem to be shooting into the sun, and sometimes it just darkens it up. Oh, I can smell the mango now. Oh, what a nice, nice aroma. I, uh, I did a bunch of beer reviews uh, that dealt with mango in it, and I could never understand what mango smelled like or even tasted like. So I did a review on this channel here. I, uh, my loving wife picked up a mango. I bisected it and I it on uh, YouTube and uh, smelled it and tasted it and you could see it what it looks like cut and everything else and I gave what the aroma was like and the taste was like and now uh, this is it this is a uh, this is definitely the, the uh, aroma so that's uh, um, a nice looking brew I got some information here on it and basically uh, Trogues 1996 when it was founded down here, well, it wasn't found in Hershey, Pennsylvania. That's where they are now. It was in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, for a while. My two brothers, Chris and John Trogner, T R O G N E R, and they've done well, they've done very well. This first cut mango is 6.2 percent ABV, 45 international beer units, as was mentioned earlier. Uh, the malts in this are Crystal, Pilsner, and Munich. That sounds like a nice bunch right there. And the yeast is a house ale yeast that they use. Uh, so let's see. Uh, I did say the harmonics are common in Sipco, and there's some mango in this here. So that's what it looks like. Kind of dank looking, dark orange on it. Let's see what it says about mango. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't say on the the bottle about the mango being in here, but it mentions it in the web page. But you do get the mango, you get tropical fruit also with this here. And it doesn't say, I wrote all the information down that I could get. Oh, nice citrusy. Nice citrusy. Now it has that balance of the uh, sweetness with the hops. It'll be like a New England juice bomb. Where it's an IPA, but it's not uh, astringent. Too, too hoppy, in other words. All right, bottoms up. It's a beautiful day here in Massachusetts. Um, uh, probably about 73, 74, 72. It's sunny, really nice and sunny out. And the nice homemade vegetables will be growing. Mm. You can taste the mango. Flavor is is uh, fruity, crisp. It's got a crispness to it, like a lager. Refreshing beer. The mouthfeel is uh, light to medium. I think the hops that are in this, the Simcoe and the uh, the Comet. I never, I'm, I'm not familiar with Comet, Comet hops at all. 
I am getting the breadiness out of this, but usually getting the lagers. Um, some maltiness, but definitely fruitiness, which is nice. And uh, I say it started in 1996, but in 2011, I think it's when they built their big, big brewery in Hershey, Pennsylvania. That's because they really expanded because they're doing well. Uh, they were, went through a couple of changes. They had something in Harrisburg, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, for a while, their brewery. Oh, and it's flavorful as I drink it. And gases come up. I'm getting a nice kind of balance of the sweetness of a pineapple. You know that uh, fruit flavor of, of a nice sweet but not cloyingly sweet just just blends in with the hops that are in this. And um, naturally, the yeast is uh, producing somewhat of the flavors through the uh, combination of the alcohol. Mm. So, uh, with that said, would I get this again? Uh, yes, I would. Matter of fact, um, I did a, one of their brews a long time ago, a beer review. Excuse me. My favorite with beer. <laughs> um, I don't know which one I get the other, but I did a beer review a while back. Over a year ago, maybe we talk about food in my mouth. But I like to have something in my stomach when I drink alcohol. Mmm. It goes good with So, to, to wrap this up, um, BS, I would get this again. Um, I would get it on occasion. Family can go over, friends come over. And if I'm uh, having a, a session or something with meeting or something, this would be a good session with me. I think I'd rather reserve this for that. Barbecues are strictly for me, lager beers. Uh, anything barbecued on the barbie, any kind of meats, hamburgers are definitely with lager beer. But this would be good for the session would be a, something that uh, you're having a meeting, or you're sitting around and you can drink. Food. And even though that's 6.2% ABV, uh, it'll get you there. So you sit around having these, don't drink and drive afterwards. Alright, uh, I won't hold this any longer. Uh, this is my outside shade right here. This moves around. I do all my woodworking out here. As you can see, it's on the table here. I got some uh, tools and work what I'm working on. Uh, I got my outside work benches over there. It's been covered most of the summer, sadly. Uh, I got into the woodworking. And, and, uh, that's fine. That's always fine. So, that said, Enjoy the day, folks. Go and drive. Be responsible for what you do. Don't drive. And don't drink together. So if you drink, don't drive. Oop. Combination. Combination is good in this. Very good. So have a good day, folks. Ciao.